Okay, so Aldrick Rosas, Giants kicker, and now a little bit more articles are out, there's a little bit more information out about it. Of course, I did the initial stream, my initial reaction to it, because when I first saw it on Twitter, I was like, this can't be real. There, there's no way this dude is doing this, right? Aldrick Rosas, it's now kind of been basically confirmed. I'm pulling up an article on the New York Post here. He is arrested in an alleged 100 mile an hour hit and run where he uh, was drunk driving and T-boned another car. You got to be kidding me, right? Like this is the, as it says right here, it's been a rough off season for the Giants. It, it really has been a rough off season for the Giants. And I don't, I don't know, man. Like, let me just read the article. It says, Kicker Aldrich Rosas was arrested Monday in California in an alleged hit and run, according to TMZ. Police believe alcohol was involved per the report. The 25-year-old was reportedly going roughly 100 miles an hour when he ran through a red light and T-boned a pickup truck at an interception. The 2018 Pro Bowler, who was in a black Chevrolet SUV, reportedly drove off, but his car broke down shortly thereafter. Police told TMZ a witness who saw Rosas would leave his car and run. A witness saw Rosas leave his car and run, and the cops later found a bloody Rosas near the site of the crash. Rosas was booked in a hit and run charge along with driving with a suspended license per the report. The cops will continue to investigate their drinking and driving suspicions. The Giants said in a statement, We are aware of the situation and have been in contact with Aldrich. We have no further comment at this time. Of course, earlier this offseason, cornerback DeAndre Baker was arrested in an armed robbery charges. The Baker's lawyers have insisted the charges will be eventually dropped, which is true. At this point, it seems Baker is innocent. His lawyer has built up a really, really good case for him. And it says, Rosas enters the 2020 season on a one-year, $3.2 million contract. He just made 12 of 17 goals last season after making 31 of 32 attempts in 2018. I... Just, Aldrich, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? First, you're driving with a suspended license. That's that's the first thing, right? First things first. Why are you out here driving with a suspended license? All right, second, you're drinking and driving. Third, you're in a crash. You're T-boning somebody, allegedly at 100 miles per hour. Now, I don't think it was 100 miles an hour, because if it was, um, you'd be killing somebody or you would be dead, although they did say they found him and he was a bit bloody when they found him. Um, uh, three, you try to run from the cops, both in your vehicle that later broke down and then getting out the vehicle and trying to run it on foot. It's like, and I think somebody in the initial, um, in the initial stream that I did, somebody told me that it's, uh, what he did was basically a felony. I didn't know, um, it was, was it a combination of things that was a felony, you know, combination of suspended license, drunk driving, crash, and then running from the cops, or was one of those things a felony, because he did it in the state of California, I don't know, I don't know, you can't even get out of this, he's obviously guilty of it, it's not like with the Baker thing, where you have to rely on witnesses, and you have to make a case for everything, this is, this is kind of like an open and shut thing, in my opinion, when it comes to drunk driving and crashing into somebody, I don't know, that's just me. But let's let's look at another article, maybe have something else to say, right? So this was just this was a post, a New York Post article. How about we go now I don't like TMZ, but they were the first ones to report it on Twitter at least. Let's see here. Their title was Giants Aldrich Rosas arrested for hit and run, allegedly T boned car and ran. New York Giants star kicker Aldrich Rosas was arrested Monday after allegedly T boning a car and fleeing the scene. And cops believe alcohol was involved, TMZ Sports has learned. Law enforcement officials say witnesses saw the 25-year-old who made the Pro Bowl in 2018 going 100 miles an hour and driving erratically around 8.25 a.m. in Chico, California when he allegedly failed to stop at a red light. <laughs> if this is what happened, if this is actually what happened, you're telling me he failed to stop at a red light and that's what kind of started the car chase? Are you serious? Aldrich, what are you doing, man? For like the fifth time, what what are you doing? Uh, let's continue. Cops say he plowed straight into the side of a pickup truck at the intersection, but kept on driving dis despite disabling the vehicle he struck. 
Rosas's black SUV broke down shortly thereafter the crash, but claim witnesses saw the NFL. I think it's supposed to say, but witnesses claim they saw the NFL player exit the side and run, exit the ride and run. Law enforcement officials tell us when officers arrived on scene, they launched an investigation and say they eventually found Rosas walking near the ca the crash site. Crash site, man, I can't even speak. According to the cops, Rosas's hands legs and bare feet were covered in blood when they stopped him for questioning cops say rosas admitted to have to being the registered owner of the suv they took him to a nearby medical center for evaluation before eventually booking him at the butt county jail we're told rosas was booked on hit and run charge as well as driving on a suspended license cops also say they believe alcohol impairment was a factor on the alleged incident and say an investigation is ongoing We've reached out to the Giants and, and Rosas for comment, but so far, no word back yet. Uh, Rosas has been a stud for the G-Men since joining the team in 2017, making 62 of 75 of his field goal attempts. Now, there's a couple of things that this TMZ article brought up that the post one didn't, and of course, take it with a grain of salt because it is TMZ. Then again, they've kind of been pretty accurate with uh with their articles in the past couple of months and so, but first things first. The bloody hands, the bloody feet. I'm, I'm just going to assume <laughs> that's his own blood. It's from going 100 miles an hour. Like I said, if you're crashing into another car at that speed, usually it means death. So I'm not surprised dude was severely injured in some way. Um, second thing, why, and this is the post did bring this up, but why are you running from the cops after you just failed to stop at a red light? Did, did you have some drugs on you? Is it Does he have possession of something in the car? Like, what's happening? Is is there something else to the story here that's still not being released to the public? Um, as of right now, I don't know if he's been released from the county jail or anything. I don't know if like if he's still there. Was it just you know an overnight stay? I don't know. And Rosas is somebody that's like this has never happened before, right? This he's going into what his fourth year in the league. Um, literally one of the most quiet guys on the Giants roster when it comes to anything. He doesn't really he doesn't really do that much. You know what I mean? He he just does his work and that's it. At the end of the day he comes in, he kicks field goals, he kicks extra point attempts, uh and, and that's it. You don't hear anything about him. So this that's another way this is just a complete surprise, kinda of ca catching me completely off guard. And why isn't there why, why hold up, let me check something real quick. Let me just check something real quick cuz let's see uh i don't know not that many of y'all was in here and you know like that tweet <sighs> okay let, let's, let's get back here I don't know if I don't know maybe you guys not getting notification or something like what's up man at least this one was on target <laughs> you talking about his crash cuz man was trash for us last year I won't I will tell you that although I don't blame that on him and that's another thing I've been kinda hyping up I guess in a way Aldrich I you know I've been saying that he's gonna have a bounce back year I'm a complete believer in the fact that the reason he had such a bad year last year was because the long snapper had a terrible year it was his worst year in his career, that long snapper. And, of course, he's no longer on the Giants. We got Casey Crater, a former Broncos long snapper that was a pro bowler. And when it comes to kicking, if you got a bad snap, you're not going to make the kick. So now that we have a better long snapper, I am I was, like, fully believing we're going to get basically another 2018 type of season out of Aldrich Rosas. But I don't, I don't know anymore. <laughs> he might be off the team after this. Why are you running from the police? Why are you driving with a suspended license? Like, so many questions but let's see let's see who's free is there any if we're actually in the market for a kicker right who are the free agent kickers in the league right now as far as I know uh, let's see this is from February 25th I got kind of lean because the phone is in my way is Steven Guskowski still an actual free agent he's still a free agent why are we not signing this man? He's he's automatically the best <laughs> kicker on the free agent market 
the Giants need to go get Steven Guskowski. Like I wouldn't even I wouldn't even look at anybody else. I wouldn't look at a at a um at an undrafted free agent. I wouldn't look at one of these other guys, although I'm pretty sure most of these guys are on the two teams. I think we all know Justin Tucker is still on the Baltimore Ravens. But if Steven Guskowski is still out there as a free agent, um I, I think he's an automatic upgrade at kicker from Rosas, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. He's probably an automatic upgrade at kicker from Rosas. But if let me just go back real quick. Let's see here. The free agent list from CBS. Greg Zerline. Now then, let's actually look it up and see if Greg is still an actual uh, free agent. So, no, he was picked up by the Cowboys, so he's no longer a free agent. So, Greg Zerline is out. Kaimi Fairbairn, wasn't that the... Uh, I thought he used to kick for the Chiefs. It said Texans. Oh, my God. Let's see. Is he still out there? He's still with the Texans. The CBS list so far is not that good. Dan Bailey, Kai Forback, Nick Folk. Out of all three of these guys, the only person I would look at is Dan Bailey. But Dan hasn't really been himself for a while. Let's see if he's still a free agent. Dan Bailey is with the Vikings. Um, Adam Vinatieri. Hold up. This says Adam Vinatieri tier, but not actually Adam Vinatieri. All right, I guess that's about it. I guess that's about it. Is this an old list? That's what I'm wondering right now. When was this? When was this made? This is from this year, so I mean, it's not like it's that old. But I'm looking at Steven Guskowski, bro, because I would, in terms of undrafted free agent, I guess you could look at somebody. I don't know. I I wouldn't know who some undrafted free agent kickers are out there. It, like, is there even if I look up undrafted free agent kickers? Apparently, it's a top search now. I'm not surprised. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go to Walter Football. Kickers and punters. Oh no, this is not the undrafted. That's just regular free agents. Ah, uh, I guess this. There's not really a way to go about this to actually find the undrafted kickers and punters, but. I think he's I think he's pretty much off the NFL. I don't know about you guys, but I think he's pretty much off the NFL, man. This is some serious stuff right here. Um Guskowski is the guy I'm looking at, Con Mac. What about you guys? What do you guys think? Cuz Guskowski is the only one I'm looking at right now. This is trash, man. This is so trash. This is ridiculous. It was actually ridiculous. This, oh my god, this makes no sense. Is there any, there's nothing else new right now. There's this one from two minutes ago, this tweet. Let's see what it says. Barefoot and bloody, like, yeah, man, CBS Sports, what you got for me, man? What you got for me? I don't know why they're showing Saquon. All right, let's see. We already know this, T-Bone, hit and run. Um... 100 miles an hour seems to be around the ballpark where he was going. The the thing that makes no sense is this, right? Unless it was, of course, from going 100 miles an hour, and, of course, I would expect there to be physical repercussions from going that speed. I... Why are you... Why are you running? Like, you just don't run... Even when you're, dr even when you're drunk driving, right? You, you, just, you just don't run from the police. Especially after a crash. Come on now. Let me actually like and re retweet this. And for those of you that might be saying, I mean, it's not that bad. You know, maybe, you know, he's just a kicker. It's not that serious. Um, I'll tell you this. The special teams of the Giants was probably the best uh, part of the New York Giants football team the past three years. And we've had one of the best special teams the past three years. And, of course, kicking is one of the biggest parts of special teams. I kind of want to keep that up. I think our offensive, our offense is good and our special teams is really good. Uh, we need somebody, you know, a reliable replacement. Drippy says, how old is Guskowski? He, yeah, he's 36, right? But it's not like he's a uh, it's not like he's a linebacker or a running back or something like that. Like, you got guys like, like Matt Bryant. How old is Matt Bryant? Let me see. Like, you got kickers playing well into their 40s, I'm pretty sure. 
He is 45, yeah, and I mean, he's not the greatest kicker in the world. Adam Vinatieri is probably the best example, 47. I think he's probably the oldest player in the NFL, but kickers play well, well into their 40s, so I think Guskowski is still pretty reliable. He was one of the most reliable kickers of the early 2010s, definitely late 2000s. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. Mick Folk was the Patriots kicker for a while this season. I don't know how or why he ended up on the Patriots because Nick Folk is a terrible kicker, but he ended up there somehow. But, um, yeah, man, that's kind of what I got for y'all because I'm really lost on what the thing with this whole Alec Rosa situation. There's not even anything I could realistically say to for a replacement. The guy I'm looking at is Steven Guskowski, hopefully. Another New England Patriot connection you know, another New England Patriot that we could bring in. That's who I'm looking at. And he's he was one of the best kickers in the league at one point. So who knows? And, of course, I will be discussing this later on tonight around 9.30 when I go live with Kid Blue for our weekly show. So, and it will be on his channel this time. I mean, if you guys have any last thoughts, any closing thoughts on it, let me know. But, um, Alex, what's up, man? It's going to be a rough time finding a kicker. I agree with you. Unless they can really snag the guy that I have on the screen right now and Steven Koskowski, who is still a free agent somehow. I mean, I'm guessing it's because, well, no team in the league is really looking for a kicker right now, except for the Giants. Unless they could snag him, it's going to be an undrafted free agent. And um, I have no idea how to find the names of undrafted free agent kickers. So there's that. Uh, Cowboy X Factor, what's up, bro? He said, what a crazy 24 hours it's been from the NFC East. What a crazy offseason it's been for the NFC East, man. The Giants now with, with two two other players out here getting arrested. Uh, Philadelphia just losing all their depth in veteran, you know, veteran players. Cowboys out here doing the Cowboys and catching the coronavirus. I don't know, man. I don't know. Think about what Judge has gone through. That's what I'm wondering, right? Like, Judge has already had to dealt with DeAndre Baker, and I, and I think he dealt with that situation pretty well. This is not like, this is not like Baker in the sense where you could kind of make a case. It's open and shut, in my opinion, when it comes to drunk driving and a crash. All right, you're in the car, you're driving the car, you crash. Like, it's open and shut, right? It's not like Baker where there was accusations of this dude robbing them, and then you got a bunch of witnesses saying that's not true at all. He was in another room. So it's it's pretty open and shut. Like, in my opinion... He would and probably should be cut from the Giants and cut from the team. And I would be surprised if Judge doesn't do that or, you know, Gettleman doesn't do that, whoever it is. But I would be surprised. What up, Bradley? Tuning in. I'm, I'm actually going to end it like right now. I went over a couple articles, you know, that kind of went over the the Rosas thing, the New York, um, New York Post one and a TMZ one. The TMZ 